we are aware that the All Progressive Congress orchestrated this act, and which is also an act of blackmail to distract to distract Nigerians from challenging the party's purchased victory at the front at, at the last concluded presidential election. And from what I see online and what I've been seeing, I think the political parties have a role to play in this blackmail that is happening. Political scavengers like funny. Political scavengers like Femi, Fanny, Coyote. I used to be a fan of FFK, but I'm shocked at what is happening now. And uh, he didn't just hesitate to feast on such a stinking carcass of poorly scripted blackmail. The infamous politician who has now become an infamous political almagery, I called him that in a, in a post I wrote some time ago, he used his office as the director of new media APC Presidential Campaign Council to carry out similar dirty jobs before, especially against Tinibu's opponents. Why didn't anybody come out to say anything? It is, regret it is regrettably that the so-called ruling party has reduced politicking in Nigeria to cheap blackmailing and train of tantrums. It is a pity that issue-based politics have been murdered in Nigeria by sacrifice and desperate politicians who thrive on blackmails and character assassination. We don't want Nigeria to go down that way. It is a shame that a party that claimed to have won election has resorted to underhand practices and cheap blackmail against a purported loser instead of defending their, their victory in court. We are even more angered by Femi Fani Kayode, as you call him FFK, on his call to the security agencies to declare Peter Obi a master terrorist for purported descri purportedly describing the election as a religious war. If we are to be in the same society, I think Femi Fani Kayode should be in the prison by now with all the things he's doing. But nobody is saying anything. Why? We also want to use this medium to ask the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter B, to press charges against those who leaked the doctor telephone conversation with Bishop Oyedepo. The leaked conversation is an invasion of his privacy. With incidents like this, one may be forced to ask if we are now safe in Nigeria to have private telephone conversations. We therefore call on the telecommunication companies in Nigeria to rise up to their responsibility of protecting their customers' privacy. Finally, we called on Nigerians to ignore the black bill and focus on retrieving the mandate they give to Peter Obi from those who stole it. The wishes of the people expressed at the pool can never be suppressed. My name is Ambassador Phil Roberts, and I want everybody who has participated in the elections to keep doing their work to see how the, the will of the people will be done. So um, on my right here, I have uh, somebody from an NGO. He's going to introduce himself, and uh, he will take it from there. Thank you very much. You can come closer, then the shift will be tomorrow. Okay. I am.